everyone and welcome back to today's exec class today i will be walking you through one of the problems we usually face while working in excel especially while working on dates if you work on excel at times you face some challenges one of which is what we are going to tackle tonight in excel there are times when you have your date formatted in different format perhaps copy from another computer or you download from the internet in this case you will look at our date here we have our date and it is formatted as a date here and uh, here we have the same date here we should have our date our month as may but here okay let's see how it goes equals to month Have this it's supposed to have May. This is the month of May. Now, if you copy the same formula to this place, you will see that the month has changed. Now, what do we do? The first solution and the easiest way to attend to this is to go to your settings, your date setting in your system. They will have to adjust the date setting. Go to your date, time, and regional formatting. This is the recommended setting. We have it as English. Depend on what you have on your system. In this case, change to UK. At times, it may be maybe perhaps you copy from a uh, system formatted in UK. And then you bring to your highest format. Now, you see that here now. If you now check the mount here, you see, wow, okay. You see that the mount that we used to have here now has changed to hero. So these are the challenges we have we face while working on uh, this kind of uh, dates. Now, here we have the month. Now, to be October, have a month to be everything. Everything is scattered. Now, but there is one thing you, you can do in this case. What you do is you use text to column formula. Text to column. Let's highlight zero. You see, we have about 4,000 days. So it will be difficult to be collecting this manually. So we go to data. Then we have test column. So the limited method. And go to next. In this case, we're going to use slash. Or slash. So you see that what we have now, we have all the dates. Uh, the, the days and the month for each other so we have four three and the rest okay next so we are should be our destination let's select column e and finish so with this now we can already create our formula so you just have equals to Dates we have year, comma, this, comma, and uh, day. Sorry, have months, comma, day. Now we have our date formatted properly. That is the first method and this is the easiest method in resolving this kind of issue but there are times when it become more complicated and there is difficult to manage okay let's go back to the in the previous uh, format 
So the half. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you will see that here now we have our month back as a five and the rest. Let's create some certain column here. Now, here we have our months. Well, you see that here we have the month disrupted. Then go to perhaps the is the bracket. This. Let's start first. The day. See that here we have our date as month. Then first the year. So, in this case, what we do is we're going to do test the column again to correct this to have the uh, month and the date this or even with this you can use your if functions if formula to solve this let's say we have our formula to behave formula please note this problem that you see always occur when the date is less than 12 when you have 12 and below you have this kind of issue exactly we turn your date to month and day to month and month to date look here here we have up to 21 we have our five as the month here we have um 10 as month then you go down you see here from 12 so when you understand the date like this now we can now come up with our if functions there if if the logical text is when this the day is uh, less than or Greater than the cost of top. What do you want? You want our date to be year, comma, month, comma, and day. Close the back. Comma. But if false, if here. Sorry, it should be greater than 12 because 12 and below. So if false, then we should have our date to be column half year. Then our month in that case will be what we have in the middle. You see that we have our five in the middle. So that will be our month in this case. Then our day will be first column. Then you close the bracket. So here we have a format to date. So we have all our dates corrected. 
So you can work with this. Just copy and paste into a plain color. Then start working. So then you paste this here. It is. So it's not formula again. I'll change the format to whatever you want. And now you want it, just format the date. Okay, let's see. Now we have um, 14 trees. Let it formatted the way you want it. So I think this will help us in solving some of the problem we face while working on this. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, kindly remember to subscribe to the channel and click like on the video. Also, do not forget to drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you.